Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, God's got your back. Beloved family, our text says, In Numbers 12, it is written, Miriam and Aaron began to talk against Moses because of his African wife, for he had married a black woman. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? They asked. Hasn't he also spoken through us? And the Lord heard this. Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. At once, the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, come out to the tent of meeting, all three of you. So the three of them went out. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud. He stood at the entrance to the tent and summoned Aaron and Miriam. When the two of them stepped forward, he said, Listen to my words. When there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. But this is not true of my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. With him, I speak face to face, clearly and not in riddles. He sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant, Moses? The anger of the Lord burned against them, and he left them. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, Miriam's skin was leprous. It became as white as snow. Aaron turned toward her and saw that she had a defiling skin disease. Numbers 12, 1-11 God had Moses back. And God has your back too. We see that Aaron and Miriam was criticizing Moses, but God heard them and his anger burned against them. And I like that when God confronted them, he did it all at one time. Could you imagine the look on Moses' face? He just found out from God that his brother and sister were slandering his name and that God was very upset at them. God didn't even say what he would do. He just did it. And the result was, since you are trying to bring shame on my servant Moses, I will put the visible shame of leprosy on you. They tried to bring shame on Moses in secret behind his back, but God brought shame on them in the open. So Moses cried out to the Lord, please God, please heal her. God's response, okay, but let her be disgraced for seven days, then I'll heal her. That's a good word for some of us this morning as haters are talking and accusing us behind our back, plotting and trying to set us up. But don't worry, because God's got your back. Wow, God gets angry at those that come against his children. And no less, even a brother and sister. They were jealous of Moses. God was angry not just at the actions of the haters. He gets angry at hateful speech. We need to be very careful what we say about God's children because he will defend them. He has their back. As a father, if I saw one of my children being assaulted, I would defend them vigorously. Maybe not strike their assailants with leprosy, but a few blows. Simply put, my anger would arise if any of my children were offended. Moses, Aaron, and most of all, Miriam learned something that day. God has the back of his children. And God's got your back too. For the Lord will go ahead of you. Yes, the God of Israel will protect you from behind. Isaiah 52, 12. Then the angel of God, who had been leading the people of Israel, moved to the rear of the camp. The pillar of cloud also moved from the front and stood behind them. Exodus 14, 19. God's got our back. 
The day Adam and Eve disobeyed God was the day he had our backs. He said in Genesis 3.15, The woman whom you deceived, her seed will crush your head. The seed God meant was Jesus Christ, who later said, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it hasn't looked for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. John 14, 16 to 18. As King David said in Psalm 23, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Much love.